Let's take a look at how we can use group policies with the new Windows Firewall Advanced Security Settings and Windows Server 2008 Create Server Isolation Policies. The first thing we need to do for server isolation is to create an OU that all our servers are going to reside in that we want to be isolated and protected. Let's go ahead and create a new OU called Server ISO. So now we're going to specify all of the servers that we want isolated to be in the server ISO OU. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new group policy. We'll call this server ISO GPO. We're going to then go ahead and edit it. And we're going to go to policies, computer configuration, policies, Windows settings, security settings. We're going to open up the Windows Firewall and Advanced Security node. And under Windows Firewall with Advanced Security node, we're going to locate the connection security rules. We then go ahead and create a new rule. Now, as you see, we can create an isolation rule, an authentication rule, a server to server, tunnel, or custom rule. The goal of this demo is to create an isolation rule. We're going to specify that we request authentication for inbound and outbound connections. Then by default, we want to make sure that computer Kerberos 5 is selected, so only we're going to restrict connections to domain joined computers only. So computers that are not a member of our domain will not be able to communicate with our server. And go ahead and click Next, and we're going to make sure that this rule applies to the domain, private, and public network connections. We can give it a name. Server ISO. And we're going to go ahead and click Finish. So as you see, now that we've configured this isolation policy, any machine that is not a member of our Active Directory domain will not be able to connect to the servers that we have placed within this server ISO OU.